Beauty and the Beast 2017. Beauty and the Beast 2017 is a Disney live action remake of Beauty and the Beast directed by Bill Condon and stars Emma Watson, Dan Stevens, Luke Evans, Josh Gad, Kevin Kline, and many others. The plot of this film, it's pretty much the same story as Beauty and the Beast, but in live action. That's the quickest and easiest way of summing it up. Now, Beauty and the Beast is one of the greatest Disney animated movies of all time. It's an absolute classic. The memorable characters, the musical numbers, the emotion, it is an absolutely fantastic Disney movie, one of Disney's best animated films. And I wasn't sure how they were going to do a Disney live action remake of Beauty and the Beast. You can't top the original and the trailers for this movie came out, it looked pretty good. I was liking the cast, I was interested to see what they do with this movie, and when I saw this movie in 2017, I remember being a bit underwhelmed after I saw this movie. I remember leaving the theater a bit disappointed and years later I think it's okay. It's alright. It is inferior to the animated film but I wouldn't say it's a bad movie just I think it's a mixed bag. There are some things I like about it but there are some things that disappointed me at the same time. To start off with the positives, there are some good performances from the cast, and some of them I think they were the right choices to play these characters. Emma Watson makes for a good Belle. Even though her singing is a bit auto-tuned, she still did a good job in the role. Dan Stevens did a good job in the role, capturing the rage of the Beast. Although I do wish they toned down the rage of the Beast and maybe made him a bit more sympathetic, I still thought Dan Stevens did a good job as the Beast. Kevin Kline as Belle's father, Maurice. He was great and has one really good scene in this movie when we first see his character and he's singing about Belle's mother. That scene was pretty good. Josh Gad is entertaining as LeFou and probably my favorite performance in this movie and one that I was surprised with was Luke Evans as Gaston. Definitely nails the look of Gaston and the arrogance. I thought Luke Evans was the perfect choice as Gaston. He looked like he was having so much fun in this role. I couldn't imagine anyone else to play a live action Gaston, anyone other than Luke Evans. And the rest of the performances from Emma Thompson, Ewan McGregor, Ian McKellen, the rest of the performances are good. My favorite part about this movie is how visually appealing it is. This is such a beautifully shot movie. It is a very well made movie. From the excellent production design, I especially love the look of the Beast's castle as well as the ball. It was all great, as well as the fantastic costume design and some good visuals for the most part. This is such a visually appealing movie, such a well shot movie, and there are some entertaining musical numbers. Although not quite as good or as memorable as the animated film, there were still some I was entertained by. I love the Gaston song, very entertaining, and I really enjoyed Be Our Guest. I thought that they nailed that one in the live action. And I also did like this one new song that was added in this movie where the Beast has his musical number, his song Evermore. I thought that one was a good song. And sadly, that's about it for the positives, and now let's get into the negatives. First, I thought this movie had some pretty bad and sluggish pacing. Not only did this movie drag a lot, making me feel bored a bit watching this movie, but also the emotional moments for the romance between Belle and the Beast where they're bond and become friends. I felt like it was a bit rushed. It, there wasn't really a lot of build up to it. I just felt like it was a bit rushed, not really given the time it deserved. A lot of the emotional moments where I'm supposed to be caring about the romance between Belle and the Beast. I honestly didn't really feel it. I didn't really feel that emotion that the movie made me want it to feel and I didn't really feel anything. I felt like this live action remake didn't really capture the heart, charm, wonder of the great animated film and this film is pretty much the same story as the animated film and I wouldn't mind that at least if it still had the same emotion but it really didn't. Also, some of the visuals are weak and not quite as strong as they could have been. I do think the CGI on the Beast is mediocre. There were some times where I'm like, okay, that looks good. And there were some times where I'm like, uh, not quite as good. And as well as the CGI on Lumiere or Mrs. Potts, felt like they looked flat and lifeless. Just that in live action just didn't really impress me. 
Overall, Beauty and Beast 2017 is a pretty weak remake in my opinion. Although it's a well shot movie, the acting is good and there are some entertaining musical numbers, but it didn't really quite have the same emotion as the animated film, leaving me very underwhelmed after watching this movie. Sadly, I'm going to give Beauty and the Beast 2017 two and a half stars out of five. Not a bad movie, I just think it's okay. There are some things I like, but some things I didn't. In my Disney live action remakes or reimaginings, I would say it's in the middle for me. I think it's better than Alice in Wonderland and Maleficent, but I do think it's a pretty mediocre remake. And that is it. The Disney live action remakes and reimaginings reviews are done. I am looking forward to seeing Dumbo soon, going with an open mind, hoping to enjoy it, and as well for Aladdin and The Lion King. I'm interested to see how those turn out. So what do you guys think of Beauty and the Beast 2017? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner, and look forward to another move review.